everyone, welcome back. Glad to the woods here at Salvo Beach, summer camping trip 2024. As always, this is the first one minute video. The rest you'll have to go watch on YouTube. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, uh, all that stuff. Follow whatever the different ones for TikTok and all that. Anyways, uh, bike has dropped off. Uh, got looked after pretty good there. Um, young lady named Mira. Um, was running the desk there. So there's no mechanics there on a Saturday. So obviously nobody's working on the bike. Jonathan wasn't there today. He doesn't work Saturday. So anyways, that's all good. Um, they've got the bike. They've got the parts. I've got them just, uh, just, um, you know, putting the bars on and the handle grips and all that. And uh, I, I asked her to have him just, just test to see what the power is like what if i'm getting any power to the battery i want to see if the rectifier is fried it might be just the battery too a eh? battery's not been around for a while so anyways um i thought i'd take the d-line back uh towards the thing this is like a little side road it eventually goes out to the main road but uh here's the campground that we stayed at years ago winding river and uh this is the guy that uh wasn't happy about us showing up at 8 o'clock in the morning. He had a little bit of white stuff hanging off his nose. Anyway, and then of course when I told him to brush it off, you know, it's like, buddy, I've been there. I was, I lived in the 80s, you know. <laughs> anyway, he didn't take kindly to that. It's like, well, it's not my fault, you know. You want to check the mirror before you come out the door if you're going to be up all night doing that shit. So, anyway, wonder if he's even still alive because he was you know probably in his 50s 40s or 50s then and of course i mean if you're doing glow like for a long time your heart literally is going to explode eventually um i mean it's just not uh good so um you know that's what happened to john entwistle of the who um he died of I think I never forget that date, June 27th. Um, oh, wait a minute, I fucked up. I think I was supposed to turn before this. Oops, 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 oops. Yeah, I fucked up, I gotta turn around here. D-line. I don't think you can get through that way, anyway go back this way and head for the uh, road. Um, it's their water department. Huh, cool. Yeah, Amable Sava Waterworks. I was told, I was told, we'll go to the stop sign to make sure we get all the way through. I was told that during the summertime with all these people here, the water table literally drops five to six feet underneath. So if you have a well that's 100 feet deep, I don't think they're that deep here, but let's say it's 100 feet deep, well, by the end of summer, because of all the water, it's like 95 feet. You know, you've lost five or six feet. So I'm pretty sure people are really, really careful about their, um, about their, wells and stuff so well this brings me right to the so isn't it no 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 no, no. where am i here now in relation to everything yeah it is the so okay this is the where we used to walk uh to the lake from that campground that i won't uh, ever camp at again so we're headed back to the campground i uh so Monday I'll have the bike back. I'm 99% sure. She said he would call. Um, so it's only an hour job, so it's quick, eh? It's just taking off all the controls and the you know electronic shit, whatever, putting it all back. Won't have heated grips anymore, at least uh, in that situation. I don't know. I'm going to want to put heated grips for ice fishing in the winter. So we'll have to see how what comes of that. I'm not getting them here, obviously. 
set of heated grips for that's going to be, you know, with the controls and probably a couple hundred dollars likely. I have bought, uh, well, they, I, I've never bought a set, honestly, because this uh, bike had them on there when I got them, so. I guess I'll sit in the tent, drink coffee, and work on my laptop, and listen to music, I guess. Can't go fishing, obviously. Well, I could. There doesn't seem to be any wind, so the lake's probably flat. But, uh, you know, trout, this kind of weather. Like, if it was, if I was in Lanark and I was in the mood, because it's a warm rain out, I was in the mood to get wet and everything, this is a good day to go walleye fishing. People say, oh, no, a little pressure. No, a little pressure is the day before. Now you're already in it, so they start coming back alive then. That's walleye. So in the rain like this, it turns up the water, makes it all kind of, you know, brown and the dirt from the bottom and everything stirred up with the wall. I love that. Brings up food they can eat. I say I should go to the grocery store and see if they got any white fish. Fresh white fish. Well, it's fresh, but smoked white fish, but from the lake. So the last time I was here, they had uh, perch, fresh perch for, I mean, we made perch burgers. Uh, but they were out of Lake Erie. I don't know why they brought perch, perch from Lake Erie here. But I'm sure that Lake Huron's got lots of big perch. I don't know where they are. Somebody around here knows where they are. In that lake. Boy, that river's ever flooded, eh? Like high, high, high. Hey, buddy, what are you waiting for to turn left here? Go. Another one of these guys that swings to the right to make a left. You're not driving a truck people you don't need to swerve opposite of your corner so if you're turning right you don't need to swerve left They're, what they see is the trucks doing it so they're mocking it without thinking you don't need to do it it's like why are you doing this it's dangerous especially when you do it turning left off a road like this you're swerving this way you know somebody's gonna pass you on the right without a shadow of a doubt and you're swerving into the right, which nobody with common sense does. So, but anyway. Oh, God. The downside of all this, too, is uh, it's noisy in the tent when it's all this rain like this. So. But I think what I'll end up doing is I'll probably do some work, I'll nap. What else are you gonna do? So might as well just relax. I'll smoke some weed, do some editing, talk to Elsie maybe, I don't know, see what's going on. How's the big family campground? So far I don't see anybody in there. There's a few people. Well, if the rain didn't chase away people last night at the campground, it's likely chased them away now. I'm not saying all of them. There's going to be hardcore people, I expect. Look at this guy jogging. Tough stuff, lad. I think you choose a morning just to say, okay, you know what, I'm going to stay home and have a coffee on Saturday morning, but no. I'm going to go out and run in the rain with uh, thunderstorms at Lake Huron. And gee, I don't know, last year when we had thunderstorms that came, the lightning bolt hit my campsite. So, you won't see me outside in it. Another reason why I don't go fishing in this weather around here. And as much as I know Georgia Bay in that area, I don't know the water that well to be doing that stuff. At lakes at my place, I know lots of place. I wonder if it's still alive. There was a lineup to get in here the other day. Uh, well, all right. Well, that's the end of this video. Please like, share, subscribe. 
be good to your fellow human, and we will see each other soon. Goodbye.